Do you bump into someone who just sucks the air out of the room? You know, the kind who weaves negativity like a spider spins webs, dragging everyone down with their constant complaints and drama. Yeah, those folks. We've all met them, and sometimes, it's tempting to throw our hands up, scream I respect your existence, not your choices, and storm off. But here's the thing. Respect isn't just a blanket term we toss at everyone, no matter how toxic they might be. Well, buckle up. Today, we're diving deep into the do not respect people who do these 11 things stoicism edition. It's not just about respect, it's about unraveling the ancient wisdom that can save us from modern day headaches. So today, we're taking a stoic walk through the landscape of disrespect. We're identifying 11 red flags, 11 behaviors that, while not deal breakers for all relationships, should put our respect on high alert. Let's dive in. Narcissists. Have you ever encountered someone who views life as their own reality show in which they are the star, director, and main character? This is when stoicism raises an alarm. These people make the selfie game appear easy. Their own PR crew works around the clock to promote them. Their main concern, themselves, naturally. Their arrogance might make Mount Everest appear insignificant. The worst part is that in addition to being the stars, they are also the screenwriters who conveniently assign blame for the writing to everyone else. This self-serving behavior is a way of life rather than a pastime. Putting your trust in them? About as accurate as forecasting Antarctica's weather. They would do anything to maintain their glamorous image even if it means putting on a few spectacular shows. Gossipers. Ever stumbled upon someone who treats secrets like free samples at a food fair? Stoics sound the alarm here. These chatterboxes could turn your private matters into tomorrow's headlines faster than a news bulletin. They're like walking tabloids, sharing stories as if they were in the Gossip Olympics. But here's the kicker. They're not just the town crier. They're also the headline material. Trusting them with your secrets? About as safe as leaving your sandwich unattended in a park filled with hungry squirrels. They'll spread your info quicker than wildfire, just for the thrill of being the first to share. Their love for juicy tidbits often outweighs their sense of discretion, making your privacy as safe as a goldfish in a shark tank. Persistent Irritants Stoicism suggests paying attention to people who are always causing slight annoyance. These folks may do tiny, nearly imperceptible things that irritate other people all the time. Such actions could plant skepticism or indicate a hidden agenda for manipulation. Indecisive those. Stoics advise against putting too much trust in those who have trouble making decisions. When it comes to commitments or deeds, indecisive people may be unpredictable and untrustworthy due to their unstable dispositions. Two-faced. Someone whose goodwill seems like a staged performance? These people were secretly in charge of the town's gossip column and could entice a snake right out of its skin. Their smiles might light up a Hollywood set. Yet behind those gorgeous whites lurks a complex network of murmurs and rumors. Place your secrets in a field of megaphones and they will quickly reverberate throughout the entire town if you trust them. They lead the unreliable express, promising camaraderie, but bringing drama instead. To them, loyalty resembles a revolving door that is always in motion, distorting authenticity and integrity. Naturally curious, people are a good thing but stoicism cautions against interacting with overly curious people, especially when it comes to delicate topics. Envy or the desire to obtain information that they could use against others could be the source of their curiosity. General Friends These people frequently switch allegiances quickly in an attempt to gain popularity and general acceptance. Those who practice stoicism advise exercising caution because their goals may be shallow and result in fleeting ties. Never-ending critics, stoicism priorities, self-reflection over external criticism. People who constantly criticism other people may be immoral and have a propensity for doing things that are counterproductive, emphasizing flaws rather than personal development. The blamer. In stoicism, there's a strong emphasis on taking responsibility for one's own actions and reactions. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. This reminds us that blaming others often stems from our perceptions and reactions rather than the actual events. 
Stoics encourage introspection and focusing on what's within our control. The Envy Goblin. Envy is a destructive emotion. Seneca also remarked, Envy is the ulcer of the soul. Stoics advise practicing gratitude and focusing on one's own actions rather than comparing oneself to others. Epictetus said, Do not seek to have events happen as you want them to, but instead want them to happen as they do happen, and your life will go well. The Procrastinator of Doom Procrastination is often rooted in fear, anxiety, or a lack of clear priorities. Marcus Aurelius suggested, do not act as if you had 10,000 years to throw away. Death stands at your elbow. Be good for something while you live, and it is in your power. Stoicism advocates for acknowledging the present moment and acting with purpose despite discomfort or uncertainty. As we conclude this journey through Stoic insights on trust and relationships, remember, the wisdom of the Stoics isn't just about understanding others. It's about understanding ourselves amidst the tapestry of human connections. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injustice. Stoicism teaches us not only to identify these traits in others, but also to cultivate virtues within ourselves. So, let's weave the fabric of our lives with authenticity, wisdom, and meaningful connections. By embracing Stoic wisdom, we navigate the labyrinth of relationships with resilience, choosing authenticity over deceit, wisdom over ignorance, and growth over stagnation. Thank you for joining this exploration. May Stoic insights guide you on your path, shaping your relationships and fostering a life rich in authenticity and fulfillment. Remember, as you step forward, be the best version of yourself. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this.